Located on the southwestern coast of India, Kerala is a state with a distinctive cultural identity, and this can be seen in the Hindu festival of Onam, which celebrates the rice harvest. Kerala is also famous for its spices, as you'll see in Vani's festive menu inspired by Onam. With lush tropical plains and forests forming a green band between the coastline on the west and the mountains to the east, Kerala is an integral part of India that also maintains its distinctive cultural heritage. And Anam is its most important annual festival. Chef Vani is the expert when it comes to North Indian cuisine, but today she's giving us her take on some South Indian dishes in celebration of the festival of Onam. Zach, as you know, Onam Festival is a harvest festival celebrated in the south of India. And our first dish we're going to be making is a green banana pakora. So we have some sliced green bananas. I've already put them in some turmeric water. It just keeps the colour as well, otherwise it's going to start discolouring. Mm. A good handful of the sliced bananas. So I have a little bit of ginger garlic puree and some green cardamom a little bit of mustard oil. It just adds to that beautiful flavor of it. Some chickpea flour, and the reason I'm using chickpea flour as well, it gives it that nutty flavor. I'm adding some ground coriander, ground cumin, a little bit of Kashmiri spice, a little bit of salt. Zach, I'm gonna ask you to please mix this for me while I chop the coriander and chili. And this is going to add that fresh flavor to it. And we wanna get everything well coated and we're just going to pop that into the fryer. And Zach, this is going to take at least about five to seven minutes to deep fry. And Make sure you get all that marinade in. The chickpea flour also doesn't absorb all that oil. Just move it around a little bit so they don't stick. Vani, could you use ripe bananas for this? No, you want the crispness of the green banana. Zach, as you can see, this is golden brown, so they're ready to come out. So can you pass me the bowl, please? And all I want to do is absorb all that excess liquid on some kitchen towel. There we go. Zach, can you finish that while I get the garnish ready? Perfect. And last but not least, our chaat masala. <laughs> and what is the sauce? I've made a green coriander and mint chutney to add some freshness. So let's move on to one of our mains, which is butternut cooked with fresh curry leaves and black mustard seeds. Wonderful. So we need a little bit of mustard oil. And to that, I'm gonna add a good pinch of fennel seeds some fenugreek seeds, onion seeds, and some asafoetida, a good pinch of curry leaf, and then all our butternut. You just give it a good stir, and I'm gonna add some salt. I want it to be nice and flavorful. And that beautiful mustard oil that's bringing out that lovely aromas. And some tamarind puree and then some brown sugar just a little and this dish is going to cook for about 20 minutes I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and we're going to leave that to cook away so while this is cooking let's get the next dish ready which is samba amazing Zach the main ingredient is yellow split peas but because it takes a long time to cook I've pre-cooked some so I'm going to start slicing the aubergines cut some good blocks with this I was actually in Kerala over Onam, and one of my favorite things about the festival were the snake boat races and the dancing. Oh, that must have been amazing with all those beautiful, vibrant colors. Zach, the pot is hot enough, so please pass me the ghee. A good dollop of that. The fenugreek seeds and the black mustard seeds. And next is the curry leaves and asafoetida. And then I'm also going to add in some coriander seeds some cumin seeds and just let that sizzle for a few minutes just until it's beautiful popping and all those oils are released into the ghee and we're going to add in the ginger garlic please and the onions please and i'm going to saute that out for a minute 
and some coriander, please. I'm just gonna break this out because you want this early flavors of the fresh coriander released in. And we're gonna add the vegetables, which is the pumpkin. And I'm going to scoop up all this aubergines. And for a little bite, I'm gonna add a little bit of red chili, but I'm just going to break that in. So that flavors will be released slowly. And can I have the tamarind, please? And the tamarind is gonna add a beautiful tartness to this dish. And now we add in our cooked dal. And then we're gonna add some water. We're going to bring this to a quick, rapid boil. And last but not least, our tomatoes. Perfect. So while this comes to a quick boil, let's plate our butternut. Goody. Our butternut curry is ready, so let's plate this. Can you hand me some coriander, please? Just to break that over the butternut curry. It's a vibrant color. That's perfect. And then I'm going to start plating the samba. This is looking good, smelling good. And it's a nice, beautiful, thick dish. And some coriander. Some vibrant green. And now, Zach, for your favorite part. We are going to be making a pie -sum. I mean, what is any festival without desserts? Very true. So let's start. It's vermicelli cooked with milk and beautiful fragrant spices. Zach, can you pass me some ghee, please? And then will you go. crush a few cardamom and cinnamon sticks, please? Of course. And all we're going to do is fry the vermicelli and the seeds together. That's perfect, thank you. And that's going to fry for about 20 seconds. And then can you pass me the vanilla, please? And the raisins, the condensed milk. And all I'm going to do is just pour half of that in. And a good handful of the pistachio nuts. And just crush that a bit. Some brown sugar. And the milk, please. We're going to bring this to a boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then it's ready. These aromas are heavenly. Zach, like this is boiled perfectly, so let's plate. Zach, to complete our meal, I've made some poppadoms. Vani, this is a feast fit for a festival, but I'm not going to leave the best for last. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy. This is the best. <laughs> this harvest time feast captures the vibrant colors and spicy flavors of its homeland, as well as the warmth of its hospitality.